This is after the strikeout. Adam Hammery ran Pedro Griffol from the White Sox dugout. And what, what Pedro is excited about is that Dylan Cease had a couple of pitches just off the corner that weren't called. And six straight have reached with two outs. And it's 4-1 on back-to-back -back bases loaded walks. Four walks in the inning. And David Bell is out. He's taking his hat off. He's been ejected. Well, David is protecting his pitcher on the mound. But folks, those are balls. Trying to fight for his pitcher. But at some point, you got to make a pitch. This is the ninth Cubs hitter to come to the plate. The Cubs batted around in each of the first couple of games. Or the last couple, I should say. That to me, is not. The call on the field is overturned. Whoa. The runner is out. Oh, wow. they gave it to him. Wow. Well, here comes Tito. Like, come on now. Wow. I can't believe that. Wow. Now, this is the first we've seen that play. And it was overturned. So he wants an explanation. Well, it's not these guys on. It's, it's not these See, guys on yeah. the field. Yeah, you, exactly. you can read Tito's up. I know I'm not allowed to argue, but that he clearly pushed him off the base, and so he's just asking yeah, th that's for a little clarification, maybe. Not that he's going to get it. That should be illegal. Well, you know what. Like you said, you try. Yeah. And if it works, it works. Yeah. They get an out. Yeah. They get a free out. And that's a leadoff double, mind you. Mm -hmm. That would be your leadoff man at second base to go ahead and run. Now he gets pushed off. And well, Malachi Moore must have said something to Tito because Tito sh sharply rebuked him. Tito said, why didn't you call it right the first time and say he pushed it off is what he said to the third base on. And that's where he's frustrated. There you go. Now he's out. He wants now he's down. yeah. Here you go. He's going to get his money's worth now. And he's going to go tell Malachi more that exactly. Yes. If he pushes you off the base, no. I don't. Why wouldn't replay have overturned that though? Got to ask question. New York. That's a good question. Wow. Malachi Moore just blew him off. And Tito saying, you get out of my way. He's not talking to you. <laughs> he said. Yeah, we'll be talking about this one later. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, Rod, come here. You can make a call. You work in New York. Come <laughs> yeah. on, Rod. Hey, what is it with this series? Uh, he was thrown out last well, week. Yes, we were in was. Chicago, and, and, and that was the first inning. We're in the fourth inning now, and he's getting run again. I just want to know what what the replay official failed to see yeah. and also starting to catch some bullpens. See Logan out on a rehab assignment next week. And gets the call there two and two the little balls low. below the strike zone there. And home plate umpire Adrian Johnson just tosses Phil Nevin. Did he just throw him out. Did he just toss him from the game? He threw somebody out. Who did he throw out of the game? That's Marcus Timms got rung up. Yeah, that'll do it for Marcus Adrian Johnson. Heard some chirping from the Angels dugout. Marcus Timms, hitting coach of the Angels. Yeah, that ball was below the strike zone there. It's a quick trigger. See that's below the strike zone all the way through. Had some serious movement. To and now the Brewers shouting down Edwin Moscoso and he's just ejected someone. I'm not sure who. I think it's Pat Murphy. And Murphy's coming out. To have his say. Counts can't stop him. Murphy is a tank.
Well, dugouts have just been wearing out the home plate umpire tonight and players who've been at the plate, and now Chris Guccione. Yeah, crew chief stepping in. So the bench coach has been thrown out. Council popped out of the dugout said, who, me? Tell you, in, in a matter of moments, Craig Council, the manager, with his bench coach, Pat Murphy, you instantly went back to the Notre Dame days. Yeah, right. When Pat Murphy was the head coach and Council was his shortstop. He just let him say, say his piece, right? <laughs> who who was the alpha dog in that scenario right there? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Murphy. But you knew it was coming to a boiling yeah. point at some point. Somebody was going to get run. Somebody from either side was going to get run at some point tonight. Sot back to work. Outside corner and Azuna run up and stands in silent protest. Two seam fastball, a little running action back to the corner. Gomes just sits back and lets that thing travel. And Azuna has just been ejected from this ball game. And actually was a little bit outside. Yeah, Blakeney's been big today. There's no question. Brian Snicker coming out to protect his guy. And in this spot, what he's saying is, what did he do? Because you can't go back and forth over balls and strikes. Yeah, and I, you can read Blakeney's uh, lips at one point. He said twice. So I, I think I, I think he let Ozuna have his piece one time, and then when he kept kept chirping, he decided to. Send him to the showers. Uh -oh. And that is a called third strike, and Blanco is furious. And Ben May just threw out Blanco. We'll see how he feels when he watches the replay later tonight. But that's a terrible time to extend the strike zone. Some umpires, not all of them, but some umpires understand there is a lot more pressure on the players in uniform than there are on the umpires. And now Matt Quattrero gets thrown out. Hard hit ground ball fair down the first baseline. Jimenez will score. Jose on his way to second. The throw by Colas not in time. Jose right between the legs of Tim Anderson. He's in there safely. And he's not real happy with Tim Anderson. Well, both benches are empty, and Anderson took a right-hand swing in Ramirez, and this is going to turn into quite a melee. Cooler heads prevail and pull the two combatants apart quickly, but Tim Anderson just took a shot at the most popular man in Cleveland. And now Tito has lost his mind. And he's just been ejected, I believe. And here come the benches again. Pedro Grafal is screaming at somebody. And Mike Sarbaugh is right there in his face. And here we go again. Tell you what, these guys have really lost control. The umpires have not been able to calm this down one bit. Just when they think they've got it under control, about three skirmishes break out. So we know Tito's been ejected. There's not somebody else. And there goes yeah, Jose. Jose, uh, yeah. Well, the big crowd loves the fight from Jose Ramirez and company, but losing him from the game. Really is a big blow to any hopes of a comeback. 
think both managers are ejected now too. Third walk allowed by Snell. This one comes with two outs in the inning. Uh, Bach. Bach. Yeah, Snell wants to know what he did. He is yelling out at first base umpire Gabe Morales. And now Ruben Abel is coming out. Snell's going to walk right over to the first base umpire to ask. He's saying you were in the stretch when he went to pitch call. And oh. he's been tossed. Snell's been tossed? Niebla may have been tossed. Now it's Niebla because he's going over to fight now. So the crew chief, Dan Iasanya, has become involved. He has come over from third base as Niebla has been ejected from this game. Strike three, Volpe down looking. He does not like that call. Well, it's the fact that the catcher set up in and had to reach away and still got the call, but it's in the box. 95 mile an hour cutter. The Yankees have had enough. Well, I'm sure that boot's been thrown out. And Diaz giving it as good as he's getting it, but Boone getting his money's worth. And he's showing the pitch that is being caught. And then he's mimicking Laz Diaz. Four Yankees have been called out on strikes tonight. This is much more about than just Volpe's last pitch. This is the culmination, as you said, Michael. Arias is he didn't go. Arias put his head down. He thought he had struck out. The Royals are all headed to the third base dugout and Matt Potrero can't believe it. Call was made by first base umpire Vic Carapaza. That's a huge part of the game right there. Let's take a look at this. Oh man. Uh, I don't I don't agree with that. Williamson ready with a 1 2. And Garcia down on strikes. Sixth K for Williamson tonight. And Avi having a word or two for the home plate umpire. I think it was strike one he wasn't totally thrilled with. And now Skip Schumacher out there. Bench coach Luis Uretta trying to uh, create a little bit more space with Avi. And the home plate umpire as well. Did he get tossed? He may have. I think Skip is going to tell him. What, what did he say? He didn't say anything. And now Garcia is letting him know what he thinks. But I didn't really I didn't, see yeah. anything going on to. Make that happen. Didn't see a demonstrative heave ho, that's for sure. And now Skip trying to protect his players. And bench coach Luis Ureta out to maybe protect his manager as well. Well, sometimes your manager wants to get out there and let the umpires know, especially backing his players, which is what he's doing right now. Roberto Ortiz the home plate umpire and uh, Avi with his gear another uh, parting shot perhaps I may have seen something after that fastball at 97 miles an hour up in the zone and they're going to go ahead and go talk to Tanner Scott I think he was a little bit confused. See if we could see something here. Nothing that was yeah, nothing that was glaring. blatantly obvious, oh, but I wonder. Well, now Skip Schumacher has been run. I think uh, there's a number of folks in that Marlins dugout that have not been pleased with the strike zone tonight. Yeah I think this was on purpose here. This was not going to be anything other than I'm going to go out there just 
go talk to my pitcher, but it's going to get wrong. And I think he's been looking at the video as well. I think he's been seeing that there's pitches that are way off the plate that are going against the Marlins, and it doesn't seem like they are going for the Marlins, where they're not getting those same exact calls. So this is a manager who's going out there to just kind of show, hey, this is not right. We've seen pitches that have been called way off the plate. Our guys throwing the same exact thing, but you're not calling it strikes on them. So bench coach Luis Ureta will take over as the acting manager for the rest of the way. So Skip Schumacher and Avi Garcia have been ejected at uh, different points of the night tonight. After Christopher Morrell was called out on strikes, Ramon De Jesus ran him from the game. David Ross came out for a rather lengthy conversation with umpire De Jesus. He managed to stick around. De Jesus, we've seen him. He's a little excitable. Just, you know, to be mild. Take a chill pill. Seiya Suzuki stays in in right field. Mike Talkman moves to center field. Patrick Wisdom stays in at third base. Nick Madrigal. One, two. Another grounder oh. to the hole. Henderson long throw. Oh. Well, you're out. Is he out? Did he make the we call? Don't, we don't know yet. Hello. Uh, yeah. Gonna make a call? But you can't challenge it because right. you lost your challenge. I think. I think they're gonna say he's safe. Well, he's out. Look at the foot Jeez. on the glove. Should be. Mm. Oh, he threw him out. Did he get tossed? And I think Edwin Moscoso threw him out of the game. Well, you don't want to let him get suspended. Jason, as you know, this looks familiar for me. <laughs> I was going to say, Earl obviously couldn't be here for the big 83 weekend, and obviously it was out the belly in 83, but yeah. Earl's team. Well, all you got to do is look over your shoulder if you're managing the Orioles, and Earl's plaques on the dugout wall. Yeah. Matty and Knight on 33rd Street. Brandon Hyde got his money's worth, and he's going to turn over managing duties to Freddie Gonzalez for the rest of this one. Well, Edwin Muscosa made the safe call, and Brandon Hyde starting to walk away, and then Edwin Muscoso dumped him. Called strike three, another one on an edge, and that's going to do it for Jorge Soler today. He gets thrown out by Bill Miller. Skip Schumacher, who was ejected Monday night, now having words with another home plate umpire. You got to understand why Skip Schumacher's out there because he's saying no, you can't just throw a guy out for that. And uh, it, it really it dovetails into the discussion that's going to do it for Skip now too. Two two again. He did, and it's strike three called. Obviously, as you can tell from Springer's reaction, he didn't like it, and he just got tossed out of the game. So now the Blue Jays have lost their arguably their hottest hitter and now John Schneider's been tossed out of the game. George clearly didn't like the call. He stood there. Who knows what was said walking out but it seemed like an awfully quick hook. Back at Tropicana Field and the, the Rays are minus one pitching coach and all of that apparently occurred during the visit to the mound and uh, Adrian Johnson was not overly demonstrative but take a look. Watch Kyle Snyder turn his attention to Adrian Johnson when he gets behind the scrum. Right there. Now he's talking to Adrian. Adrian says he top shelved him. Right there. That was it. And the pitch on the inside corner. Strike three called. Alec Baum. He's just been fined. Fortunately, that's it right now. And there he goes. And now he's thrown out of this ball game as he slams his helmet down. He that does not happen for Alec Baum. The pitch, according to our box, was a hair in. That ain't a strike. It's not a strike. And a call, 
strike three. Oh my gosh. Now Bryce has got to be careful because I don't know if McKay will give him a, any latitude here. He just waved him off. Rob Thompson. I, Rob's going to be thrown out of this game. There he goes. And rightfully so. I mean, this is a tight time of the game. Got to bear down. He's got some quietly some pretty good speed. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been fun to watch as he continues to settle in. This will be a fun finish to the season in his new uniform. Gentlemen, we appreciate it. We'll hear from you after the ball game as AJ Puck delivers to Anthony Volpe and a strike at the bottom of the zone. Got him with a fastball. And AJ Puck has a couple of strikeouts. Well, as expected, John Birdie stays in the ball game at shortstop and Nick Fortes behind home plate. That's a good point to Rod made because one of the uh, one of my sources uh, on on Jake Berger was that he had some nice sneaky speed. Well somebody just got thrown out. Not sure uh, who it was. Well one uh, Volpe was the one who got called out so I don't know if it was him. And I think there's some folks on the. Top step who might be arguing a little bit. So that's the last pitch. Bottom of the zone. I mean, we've well, seen we worse saw, this week. We saw a pitch yesterday called a ball. It was like that, and it's it's a strike either way, both ways. And let's. Aaron said something, but I don't think Boone was the one that got ejected. No. They call a Bach. They must have. If they've called a Bach on Munoz. They're saying he didn't come set. At the top corner, left corner of your screen. This may not end well. Adam Beck is a third base umpire. Three two from Bolton. That's up. And somebody's been ejected. It's Derek Shelton. I think. He's letting them have it. And Chad Fairchild. Oscar Marine has been ejected. We're getting an announcement. So we've had an announcement that Oscar Marine and Derek Shelton have been ejected. Oscar could provide some length down there as David Ross is in an argument. Guys, what do you think this is about? I'm not really sure. I, I'm assuming. No, you know what? I'm not really sure what he's beefing about. And Mark Carlson coming over. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't either. Wow, and it's it's getting heated now. <laughs> you know what? It's playoff baseball time. Every game is so important. Yeah, he's been ejected. The so trip Gibson. The ejection happened prior to that argument that we just went. Yeah, a while ago. So. Watch watch him left side of your screen. I mean the heave ho. I'm not sure what that was possibly about. But we will find out. So David Ross ejected. All right, we get a man making a call here. Yeah. Pitchers just have not been throwing in pitches out of the strike zone. He really has anything to hit. And they're all over him. Right now the Giants are just screaming at 
Chad Whitson. And Gabe Kapler's coming out saying, you know, you've called everything against this guy. And they went back and reviewed his first at bat. And Gabe's thinking three of those pitches were not strikes. And that's a, that's a skipper taking care of a rookie right here. Did he get tossed? I don't think he did. Yep. He got him. I think he got him when he was in the dugout. Ah. So Kai Correa takes over the, the helm. So again, it's a quick 0-2. Of course, that great glove in center field, 10 defensive runs saved. That's tied for third among center fielders in baseball. And of course, Nolan Jones with that arm, 10 outfield assists. That's fifth in all of baseball, tied for most by a Rockies rookie in franchise history. So we're seeing some of the veterans, some of the young guys step up, you guys, but the defense has been looking real good. Defense is pretty Somebody just got tossed. Pit Vondrak just ran someone. Looks like Elvis, Elvis Andrus. Andrus. Well, both sides are chirping at each other. Spill, you're down there. Was was he throwing freaks, chirping at at Vondrak or at the Rockies dugout? I can't can't tell. The Rockies dugout was vocal. It's been their best hitter in this uh, series. He goes without saying, and I know the records are identical 48 and 75, but there's a completely different feel around the Rockies in terms of the energy and what's transpired of late with the White Sox, who had. High hopes on the season. They take off, and that is in there as he came at 96. And another conversation by Red Sox hitter with Valentine and a strand two, but the Red Sox lead it two to one. Oh, there we go. That ball's down, and Cora let him have it, let him know. It's been going on here now for some time. That ball strike three. That's a big pitch. He had base loaded two outs. Valentine calls a ball that he hasn't called the strike all day long. Cora goes out, lets him know about it, and gets tossed. Well, you and I were talking in between breaks a couple innings ago that this was one of the days it looked like Alex Cora could well be tossed out. He has been. Even though his team has the lead and the Red Sox are going for a sweep today, they had had enough with Valentine's strike zone. How many times have we seen guys take pitches for ball four that create huge innings in the last couple of days? That should have been another example of it. Give Reese McGuire another shot with two outs. That's a good take from Trevor Story and Junior Valentine rung him up. They're going away the pitch. He struck him out. And Contreras is ejected from the game. Contreras just got thrown out. He's going to draw the strike zone. He's going to toss the bat too. Frustration boiling over in the Cardinal seven. Hitters hate when the bat is taken out of their hands and Contreras as we said a moment ago has had the best view behind the plate. One pitch that didn't go Wainwright's way led to a big Pirates inning. Two pitches in that sequence were low and Contreras swung and missed and got thrown out of the game and now Oliver Marmel is going to get tossed as well and he's still getting his money's worth with Brendan Miller. Well, this is one. This escalated quickly here, and Wilson Contreras he came out for a little bit more. Ali Marmol though got ejected in this one as well, and I think that he was going back out and said, look, "Look, what did I say?" After we went to break, Jordan Walker gets punched out on this pitch down under the zone again from home plate umpire Brendan Miller. Walker upset about it, very similar to the pitch that Contreras got thrown out on. Brennan Miller has got his ears out because he's looking for trouble. Jordan Walker turned back around, said something, and got his first career ejection. Taylor Modern enters the game in right field. It's been an ump show, that's for sure. 
So happy 84th. Oh, Holberg angry and pointing to the Red Sox dugout. Cora, who was thrown out over the weekend in the Yankees series for the third time this year. Very calm here. Pat Hoberg had heard enough from somebody in the Red Sox dugout. Yeah, I think that's what Alvis that was like. He threw me out. It's for Dugo. Oh, here comes, here comes Cora. He is out of this game. He's been thrown out. He's been angry tonight at a couple of calls. And frankly, one of the best umpires in baseball behind home plate, but not necessarily having a great night. Right now, Alice Cora's doing his job. Fire up this club, get this offense going, but we're here. So Suarez will not be coming into this game, and they're going to have to get somebody else up and heat it up. Well, that's disappointing. He was coming in here for the eighth inning and has failed the test, and the back of the hand is the issue. And the ejection right there. Coming from Todd Titchener, the crew chief. And now Bob's coming out. Well, deemed too sticky, right? You can't have any sticky substance of uh, any kind. So the uh, the call by the umpires, ejection, frustrating, disappointed. Down to the corner, and a one, two, three, seven for Leclerc. Somebody's been tossed, and I'm not sure who it is. This called third strike was at least in our box. David Popkins, the Twins hitting coach, getting tossed by Corey Blazer because a lot of them tonight have not been in our box. Short edges off of first, the 3 2. Got him. Fastball inner half of the plate, right on the edge for a called third strike. Perfect pitch. A.J. Hinch is upset at last Diaz, and he's going to get tossed because Diaz and Baez were getting into it a little bit. So a beef with the pitch clock. Right here, it's at zero. Yeah, that's a legitimate beef as well, for sure. And there he goes. I understand the frustration, but too early in the game to get tossed out. The meeting necessary because the Twins had to replace Luplo for Gallo, but now the discussion is continuing between Rocco Baldelli. And Carlos Torres. The hey, Rocco just got tossed. About as passive an ejection. He's got a, he's got a legit complaint. Another 0-2 from Martin to Muncie. And strike three. Muncie tosses the bat in disgust. Jason Hayward trying to get in between, and Max Muncie's been thrown out of the game by Jordan Baker. And now Roberts has been run. It looks low. It's about shin high. So you can't get thrown out for throwing your bat. It's got to be some word because there's a fine for throwing equipment, but it's not an ejection. Out. He got into it with David Rackley and ended up getting kicked out. And it was that previous pitch that really bothered him. And then his manager came out to protect him and he got kicked out. That is a fair ball. Down